Okay, so this is a short um, presentation called Send the Message. And in this presentation, I'm hopefully going to give you different ideas of, of getting the message across, particularly for use in education. So um, hopefully this will inspire you to come up with your own ideas of different ways of doing things. This presentation is done in the style of Petra Kucha. Now what that means is uh, Petra Kucha is a style of presentation that comes, out, that comes from Japan and it means there will be 20 slides, each lasting 20 seconds long. Um, the Pechikucha itself, I believe, means chit-chat in Japanese. And as I say, it's just a, a style of um, having these short presentations, which has taken off all over the world. You might wonder what is the point of uh, Pechikucha and having such limits on presentations. Well, it seems to be quite popular and a good way of keeping people's attention because uh, surveys have shown that people tend to lose concentration after six or seven minutes or so. So this is a good way to keep to the point and keep people interested. Now a lot of the images I'll be using in this presentation are used under the Creative Commons license. If you have a search for Creative Commons, you can search for images or text or video. Lots of different types of content which is under the Creative Commons license which means that other people have created content. They're not saying that they're giving up all rights to it, but they are allowing other people to use the content for whatever they need to use it for. So one of the things we're going to be looking at now is um, word clouds. So this is a way of taking a piece of text and creating a visual from the text. And the larger, the more times a word appears in a document or whatever you put in, the, more, the bigger the word appears in the word cloud. So this is the Digital Britain report, and you can see that the common words in the report were government, digital, and to a lesser extent, new and public. Okay, uh, now we're looking at some cartoons, online cartoons. Um, this is a, a fun way of crea creating information or getting information across. And the good news is, you, when, when you use these websites to create them, you don't need any artistic skill. The only skill you need is the skills in coming up with the ideas and uh, Toondoo and Bitstrips are good websites for this. If you want to be a bit more creative, there's a website called Extra Normal which allows you to create animated videos with these kind of Lego-like characters. Um, again, you don't need any artistic skill, you just have to type in instructions uh, for what you want the characters to do, what kind of scene you want, and you can create uh, your own animated scene. Another way of getting information across is by using quizzes and there's lots of different templates available on, on the internet for various quizzes. This one obviously is uh, t based on the quiz show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, there's other ones available out there for, um, based on Blockbuster's quiz show and the American quiz show Jeopardy. If you are going to use this kind of interactive game, interactive quid, quiz, and you do have access to an interactive whiteboard, why not get the students involved? Why not get the students who are going to be uh, taking part, actually the ones up touching the screen? might sound like a simple thing, but it really does keep, people, uh, keep the students uh, active and involved with what's going on. So another way of uh, getting information across, this is if, uh, a creative way of using PowerPoint. Um, it's the, the method's just known as illuminated text. And it's just um, a way of using uh, text, particularly if you've got the animation features within PowerPoint, just to make the text move and come alive. And it's great for if you've got a passage from a book or a poem, and you just want to really highlight the different passages. Now moving on to zooming presentations. This is where instead of having a series of slides in a lin linear fashion, you have text and information all over the screen on at different sizes and as you click through it zooms in and out of the different parts you want to look at. There's a few ways you can do this at the moment um, including a website called Prezi or an add-in for PowerPoint called PowerPoint Plex. Um, as well as that you can uh, an, another way of getting inf complex information across is by using mind maps. If you use uh, interactive mind maps then it means you can click to open and close various parts of the mind map if you only want to focus on one section at a time. Um, Cam Studio is a piece of software which is freely available from the website and also freely available on a uh, uh, something called Access Apps um, which is a content which fits on a USB stick. 
This uh, Cam Studio basically allows you to capture whatever happens on your screen. So it's great if you want to record an image of how students should access or use a certain piece of software. Talking of creating videos or using videos, there's lots of videos available, particularly now in YouTube and other sites similar such as TeacherTube or, or any of those sites. Um, the, the amount of information that is on there is phenomenal and they're really high quality. In some learning providers they have issues with allowing um, access to YouTube videos but if you ha don't have access to these videos you're missing out on a lot of things. One way you can create a video is by just by using some still images and, create, and making them a bit more jazzy, a bit, a bit more interactive in, in a video presentation. This can be done with a photo story which can be downloaded from uh, Microsoft or you can use it on a website such as this one called Animoto. If there's information on a number of websites, you can have a, uh, you can string together very any websites you want using uh, uh, this system. You can see there's a panel down the side called Jog the Web. There's other ones available which do the same kind of thing, such as Trailfire. It basically keep, creates a path or trail of websites with a, which are annotated at the side with how you want to get the message across. Um, this is taken from uh, a website recently discovered called Glogster and it's a great way of creating online poster presentations. These poster presentations can include audio, they can include video. It might look as though there's only a small amount of text on there but when you, you look at the online version you can scroll down and get a lot of information on there. This is a visualizer and this it basically you can see the long stem in the middle, the thing at the end of it is a camera. So it's great for um, if you want to you hook it up to a, a, an interactive whiteboard or a projector and it shows on the big screen whatever you're looking at on the sm on small. So it's great if you've got something small and fiddly that you want to show to a large group of people. Now all the uh, present, all the things we've discussed so far are, are visual guides, visual uh, ways of getting the information across. I could do an entire presentation just on using audio with things like podcasts, but at the moment I'll just mention that podcasts are available. There are ways to do podcasts for free, so if you have got information, that's another way of doing it. So I'd like to thank you for listening to this uh, Petra Kucha presentation. Um, if you'd like to know more, there's a website there which is sendthemessage.notlong.com. If you go to that website, there will be a list of links and credits for all the links I've used in this presentation. Thanks a lot.